The following WXE matchup was brought to you by Larry Flint's Hustler Club Detroit, located right off I-75 and Outer Drive. Stop in and spend some time with the beautiful Hustler Honeys. Watching Darnell at 155. Darnell usually fights 35, 45. Yep. Will his power translate to 155? Is the question. You know, and everybody, uh, they're like, oh, all Darnell has his hands. The kid has some really hard kicks too. Yeah. So, I watched him swing. Here we go. Too. All right, don't blink, party people. All right, all right. They did touch. Russell needs to use that length to an advantage here. Nice, nice takedown, takedown by Russell. This is where he wants this fight, definitely. Yeah, this is a good spot for him, and he's walking him over to his corner here, which is good. Russell is showing a little bit of his veteranism right there. I don't know if that's even a word or not, but yeah. it is now. Nice, nice, oh, nice technical nice stand up. There's an the athleticism from Darnell in a, ooh, awkward position. Yeah. But throughout all that, and now he ended up giving up his back, but there's one thing with Darnell, super athletic and so powerful. He needs to keep that hand, get that elbow driving through. He's out, he's fine right now. Still in a real bad spot though. Yeah, it might not be an indirect, Danger, but See, trouble this, enough. This is one mistake that Russell's making right now is the fact that you know he's got it right now, but a lot of amateur fighters they don't strike before they just go right for the choke. Yeah, it's hard to tell from this. Ain't. This is exactly how Russell want to fight this fight, though. No, definitely. Russell's caught a little bit too much space on that on those hips. He needs to keep his hips more pressured yeah. into him. Other than that, he's doing really smart right now. Good control. Yeah, at least he is where he wants to be. You know, it's actually nice seeing Russell Campbell train like he should be. Isn't you know, it? You know, he, um, he's been training hard, man, you know. And uh, it shows. You know, it showed in his last fight. Yeah, he, he's a different fighter when he trains. And, and he's got so much potential, too. You know, right now he's in there against an undefeated. Great shot from Darnell. Oh. Yeah, that danger is that power. Darnell's got to get his hips a little bit more away. He has a Darce choke right now, too. doesn't even know it. Yeah, yeah he's he not going to hit not that. Not <laughs> Darnell, when you watch this fight, Google Darce choke. <laughs> yeah, Anaconda, Darce, Darce, either of them. Opportunities galore. Both these guys paying very good attention to their corners. Methodical, you can see them thinking in there. Russell needs to pull uh, Darnell's hips off the cage yeah. a little bit more. Yeah. And, and work, he has, work, works right to mount, but. 
catch is Darnell so explosive that he'll roll and get out of trouble real easy. Good first round. First round is in the book. Good round. I'd have to give that one to Russell Campbell. I, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Um, he controlled the majority of the round. Um, two takedowns. Darnell had some, threw some bombs, uh, connected in a couple of shots, but uh, the majority of the round was controlled by Russell. I, I do believe this is probably the first time uh, Darnell's even seen the second round. If I, yeah, all four wins by uh, Naka. I do believe he's never been in the second round. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I think you might be right. Even if he seen the second round, it was a very short into the second yeah. round, I believe. It's kind of interesting to see, you know, Jesse Bozzi, Darnell, Russell, Craig Coaching Coffer, all, yeah. all four guys used to train together at some point in time, you know, on opposite ends of the cage. Let's point out how Jesse is just matching tremendously Looks great, right man. Now. He's killing it. <laughs> He's killing it right now. I'm sure those shoes have a name. I'm not very aware of it. I'm not much of a Jordan type of guy. <laughs> Tend to wear uh, Jesse. Those are the Bozzi 2.0s. Look at that. Boston, is that is that what it's called? Is that the proper terminology? All right, here we go again, gentlemen. I like those shorts Donnell is wearing. Russell needs to tighten that hook up a little bit. Maybe throw a jab before it, and then foul with that uh, with that straight. Even a two three. He's got the he got the re distance for it. Definitely the reach. The thing for Darnell is you. You can't just shoot right through because you have to go much further. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Darnell looking for like a one big shot. Oh, nice knee. That he was, was anticipating that the That was takedown. a smart play by Darnell. That it really was. was. But the thing about trying to do that knee is, you know, if you don't throw it all the way, you're, you're, you're landing right in the breadbasket of where the wrestler wants you to put your legs. Yeah. So oh, yeah. You do have to work the, for him. You gave him the takedown. Yeah. <laughs> And you can see it oh. immediately Russell's working for back control again, and here we are. So now it may be a white belt in jiu-jitsu. I'm just coming with that. I think it's sticking out, actually. Yeah, he's wearing his belt. That's awesome. <laughs> Don't see that very often. But again, you know, that's... Darnell's powerful guy. You don't want to necessarily have him on top of you. He's used his cage. He can possibly work for an arm bar. Oh, no, his arm's out. Triangle choke. Russell's very long. This is a dangerous yeah, position he is. right here. He's got to get that leg out. Got a, is it work for the arm bar? Yeah, oh. he's chasing it, but didn't really have He's it. a back door. Back door. The old James Lee back door trick right there. Yeah. Oh, man, if we had elbows here, that'd be nice. Big shots from Darnell. Ooh, right in the ear. Big shots. Yeah, those are the kind of shots that you don't want to take. No, man, that kid has, like you said, he bumped up, you know, one, two weight classes, and he still has dynamite in his hands. Nice nice guillotine attempt to look like he was looking for a power guillotine. Uh, but, ooh. He needs his hard yeah. roll, hard roll. Russell should not step over right now like that. That's a bad move. I think he realized that. Good head control. He should use that shoulder to try to drive Darnell's chin to the opposite side. Yeah. Um, you know, I love this position. I would just con immediately transition to the north south show, but good scramble from Darnell. Arm got caught up behind yeah. him a little bit, but uh, and but the thing is, you can't just scramble and stop. You have to get. Yeah. You have to scramble relentlessly till you get to where you can breathe. Short and time this here, is gentlemen. not where you want to breathe. Hard turn. He makes a hard turn towards us, and he's out. I, I think. Yeah, he made a hard turn towards us. Yeah, the, the thing is, it doesn't matter, though. He's lost another round. Agreed. I got yeah. two knots in Russell. Yeah, the way I have it right now is Darnell, if he doesn't finish it in the third round. Hey, Darnell does not look really tired at all. And no, Dar <laughs> Darnell's a scrappy kid, man. He's got a ton of potential. Uh, I think he's either, he definitely needs to tighten up his ground game, but with the power that he has... Uh, but, I, but like you said, I think he's down 2 nothing. I think he needs to, he has to get the finish in this round if he wants to win. No doubt about it. Yeah. Also, 
at this point, he might want to really go after, like, remember how he used to come in on a line straight and hard? And he hasn't even attempted that yet because of the reach difference. He might want to just go and, and give that a run. But once again, look at Jesse Bozzi. He's looking all crisp. He's very matchy. You got to love Jesse Bozzi. Former uh, WXC champ. Yep. For a while. Yeah. Multiple time champion, I think. I know his son, little Jesse, just had his one year old birthday, a uh, first year birthday. A lot of respect there yeah, for is. each other. I think they earned their respect. I think yeah. they respected each other before the fight. It was just a. Uh, oh. Darnell needs to go. Yeah, he does. Darnell needs to get it. Russell's back against the cage and just time it. Because you know that shot's coming. Yeah. Yeah, it is. He's leaping for it. He shouldn't shouldn't be leaping for it. I think that reach and height has got him a little bit. He uh, keeps getting in trouble trying to do that schoolyard headlock. Yeah, that, that, yeah. That, I mean, even with, you know, Russell does have a little bit of wrestling. You know, that's yeah. not going to work with somebody with even a little bit of wrestling. Yeah. Yeah, this, I know Darnell is super athletic and stuff, but we're in the third round and he's fully mounted. He needs to get his both his feet on that cage, press off, and it could be out. Yeah, you can even do a, you can even run the cage straight up and down and end up. Uh, he's out. Uh, oh, nope. Good, good fix by Russell. He's that body triangle. There nice. He is. That was a nice transition from Russell. You, that, this is the the Russell that trains. This is trouble. That I think that that's it. Trouble. That is trouble. Very nice job. Wow. Nice finish from Russell Campbell. He fought a very this smart a, fight. This is a He didn't play guy. Darnell's game. Good show, respect. Good job, gentlemen. Wow. That was a big win. He just took on an undefeated up and coming noise making guy who's four and zero oh with four KOs. And he uh he won every round and finished him. Yeah, that was a very impressive performance by Russell Fought. He had a great, great um, game plan. Um, he showed good control, um, and when, when the time was right, I mean, uh, he, he, he got the submission. 